Uh, this is the second day of the field trip. The first day we basically set up camp and we had a quick look in the in a unit called the uh, Gill Sealed Stone. We were looking for sharks. We did find some sharks teeth. I'm going to show some more teeth today. But um, the second day we did an exciting discovery. Uh, I was just walking along the creek bed here when I came across this fossil here. You can see these are three consecutive vertebrae of a bony fish. It would have been a fairly large one, and these would be the, the neural or the hemal arches. You can see they're still attached. Normally when we do find a fragile fossil, I mean this is 95 million years old, we need to stabilize it with a preservative of some sort. But in this case, if we turn it around, this is the nice view of the sort of tail end of the, of the bony fish. Uh, the other side is actually reinforced with gypsum. You can see there's lots of gypsum crystals lying around. So it's quite robust actually, so we don't have to add a preservative to this particular specimen. But it's a very nice one. Not sure what happened to it. I mean, we haven't found the rest of the fish. Maybe the tail was bitten off by a shark. That's possible. So I'm now going to wrap it up uh, and, and prepare it for transport. To, uh, to the museum, but it's a, it's a very nice find. We have found um, sections of the jaws of a large uh, teleost, which is a bony fish called Pachyri So It's possible that this is a, the tail end of a Pachyri soda. So it's a very nice find. The fish that used to live here in, the, in the, this area five million years ago. The water depth would have been about 50 meters or, or thereabouts. adding a little bit of extra padding here. This will cushion the, the specimen. And then we're going to prepare it a little bit more. I'm going to get back to, to Perth, uh, remove the dirt. Very nice find.